Hey everyone, this is a very quick tutorial for you guys and in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you a very tricky interview question from exception handling. I've seen a lot of time this particular question is getting asked in the interview and this is going to blow your mind, right? So what you need to do right now, you need to watch this program that I'm going to code over here and you have to guess the output. So let's check this out, alright? Alright guys, so now as you can see over here, I do have a very simple class over here called exception demo, right? So now let's start coding. So now let's say I have a main method over here. So I'm using a Eclipse trick to get my main method over here. Okay, there you go. So I have a main method over here and inside my main method, let's say I have a uh, print statement over here and let's print a line over here. Let's say my channel name is Selenium Express, right? Okay, there you go. So the next thing that I'm gonna do over here is, let's say I have a variable, let's say in C, and this is gonna throw me exception. So let's uh, try to generate a arithmetic exception number here. Let me write 10 by zero, all right? So if you see this particular variable C, now this is this is the statement which is going to generate the exception, right? Because 10 by zero is going to give you a invalid output, right? Uh, so let's comment it out. Let's say this is a exception statement, right? All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do over here is I'm going to print this particular C over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do. So let's have another sys out and I'll say result uh, and uh, I'm going to concatenate this with C. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do over here. So as you can see, this particular statement is causing exception, right? So this is my risky code, right? So I need to put it inside a try block. So let me put the entire thing inside a try block. There is no problem with that. So I'll put everything inside a try block. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, write a finally block over here. So let me write a finally. And inside my finally block, I'll write a, another print statement. Oops, this out. And there you go. So I'll write over here, I am from finally block all right okay all right so it's very simple right so we have a try block and we have a finally block so as you guys know finally block will be executed for sure okay all right so the next thing that i'm going to do over here let's say i do have a another sysout over here uh let's say another print statement over here let's say what hey everyone and uh, let's say i do have a, another sysout over here so let me copy this and paste it over here and what I'll say over here. Okay, let's say, <laughs> please subscribe. All right. All right, so now the thing that you need to do, you need to guess the output, okay? So let's see what is going to be the output for this particular program, all right? Okay, so let's go for that. Okay, so now let's see the output for this particular program, okay? I know that's gonna be really interesting, so let me run this particular program, okay? And there we go, that's the output. So first, my channel name is Selenium Express, that means first, uh, this particular statement is executing, all right? Then I'm getting, I'm from finally block, okay? I'm getting this particular statement, and then I'm getting the exception, right? So if I will zoom it a bit, then I can see I'm getting arithmetic exception, right? So that means this particular line is causing the arithmetic exception, isn't it? But I am not getting this particular print statement over there inside the output console. Am I getting everyone please subscribe? No, right? So the reason why it is asked in the interview because a lot of people get confused and they say this particular stuff is also going to appear inside the output console, which is wrong right so let's understand it okay so if a java program contains a try block and a final block i mean if a java program has a try block and a finally block and there are a few statements written after the finally block then what is going to be happen when an exception is occurring inside the try block okay so the first thing that jvm is going to do it is going to execute the statement before the exception. Right now, this is a statement which is causing the exception and the statement before it is this, right? The my channel name is Selenium Express. So this is going to be print inside the console, right? So 
here we go so this this is the one right my general name is selenium express okay and the next thing is so if you can see over here then it is going to execute the finally block okay so inside the finally block we have a statement called i am from finally block and this is going to be come inside the console after that okay so here you go i am from finally block right once the finally block is getting executed then what is going to be happen the exact exception is going to pop out right so over here our exception will be arithmetic exception right because this particular line is going to generate an arithmetic exception for us so there you go so right now we're getting the arithmetic exception over here isn't it so now the most important part over here to remember is if you are having any statement after the finally block right over here then what is going to be happen if an exception is occurring inside a try block then this particular statement is not going to be executed so this is why we are not getting this particular statements over here inside the console all right and i think the explanation is clear and still if you have any doubt you put that in the comment box and for more tutorials like this you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then happy coding